So I think that's an important point, and I think that you should recognize, try to recognize the the uh, the orbs and the QMVs as uh, as actual weapons of personal war against sleep. And by the way, speaking of sleep, I think that we should we should uh, work we should enhance the idea to people. One of the most important things I ever heard passed on from one person to another is you are asleep. A very, 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 very um, dedicated Gurdjieffian. Uh, a Russian man, Russian Armenian. Um, he came to Cosmo Street and did a series of five lectures at my invitation because uh, there's no information about Gurdjieff for that. People were asking. So he did five lectures, and one of the lectures he said, uh, the thing that Gurdjieff came up with, the best, greatest thing he ever came up with, in his opinion, was, you are asleep. In the simplest and most obvious sense of the word, actually asleep. the same state you'd be in if your eyes were closed and you were snoring. Except you're upright and walking around and steering yourself somehow. And he said that was the thing that really turned people on because they could test it. Immediately they could test it. Is that true? Wham, yeah, it looks like it is. Well, holy shit, what do I do about this? If anything, do I even want to? Should I? But that's where it comes up. That's when it gets real. You are asleep. No, I'm not. When you say, no, I'm not, you're not. And that is the real trap. That's the biggest trap of all, is the fact that when you're most asleep, you're convinced you're the most awake. <laughs> well, you called it weapons against sleep. That's not so bad. No, that's good. I think. However, the word weapons could be questionable. Yeah. Particularly in, 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 in terms of, in, in relation to <clears throat> um, something as weird and strange as what we do. Yeah, fair enough. What's a synonym for weapons, then? Well, and don't be so general. How about just pistola? <laughs> say, say what? Pistola. <laughs> That'll get you in a mafia. There you go. All right, the tools against sleep. Nah, it's too boring. That's not bad. It's mm -hmm. not bad. But that would only attract the university crowd. Right. Very heady. Now you want you want the truck drivers too. <laughs> so ask yourself, this is the kind of I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you with this question for today. But ask yourself, all right. How could I possibly convince somebody that they're asleep 
while they're asleep. See, because in the process of telling them you're, that they're asleep, you're waking them up. Momentarily. <laughs> After which they'll sink back into sleep and say, no, I'm not. Or, oh yeah, or something like that. Well, How do you get the truck drivers in? I don't know. They're asleep too. That's something that's in, that they have in common with the intellectuals. <laughs> Somebody can be very, seemingly very alert and yet stone asleep. Shucks. So your first job is to define how do you tell if, if somebody is asleep? I'll, I'll paraphrase the thing of, um, is somebody really stupid? Who has that said that? Carlin? George Carlin. George Carlin. If somebody really stupid got Alzheimer's, how would you know? So in the same vein, if somebody stone asleep, <laughs> if somebody if somebody were stone asleep, how would you know? Somebody, the average person around you, the you know, or everyone around you, just look around. Is anyone there asleep? And if you ask that objectively, of course you'll answer, well, yeah, this one is, and so on. And everyone's asleep at one point or another. And it's a sub it's a walk-in, somnambulant sleep. It's not sleep that's lying down, it's sleep that's sitting up or standing up or walking, talking, uh, performing very elaborate tasks, can still be stone asleep. That's the thing. In fact, that was the most exciting thing of all when when uh, when I used to I used to teach this particular aspect, which was in on Wilshire, on Wilshire Avenue. We had our fellowship offices on Wilshire Avenue, Wilshire Boulevard, I mean. And uh, that that was very attractive to a lot of people. Was the idea that you can be asleep, not know you're asleep and insist that you aren't asleep when you are. Well, how do you know if you're asleep, much less anyone else? Well, that's it. That's what I say. You can't, you cannot possibly learn to read someone else's mind until you've read your own. Right. When you can read your own mind. You just know that's you talking in there. That's my voice. That's me. I'm talking. Okay, what's that voice? What is it? It sounds like my mother. <laughs> She's right. saying, don't do that. Right. When the father gets home. And that's her <laughs> grandmother inside her. Yeah. Going all the way back to Adam. Yes, you know the first words he said, don't you? When, no, when, what, what did he say? Well, when Eve was first presented to him. He said? Madam, I'm Adam. Yeah, forward and backward. <laughs> what do the Greeks call that, do you remember? Oh, what is that? Palindrome? I don't remember anymore what this I, I, I think that's a palindrome. Claude, isn't that a palindrome? Something that's the same forward and backward? Abba. Abba. <laughs> yes, a palindrome. Okay, so that's what <laughs> the, is. The, the, the big the big classic is Napoleon's statement. Abel was I ere I saw Elba. All right. 
backwards, it's exactly the same. All right. And it's historically true. Yeah, that's the worst of it. I don't think 1814 was a good year for anyone. I had a lousy time in 1814. Right. Uh, he got off Elba. They had to send him down into the middle of the Atlantic Ocean to St. Helena. They sure did. And some say he got poisoned down there. Yeah. I'm not sure anyone really knows what do you mean when you say you're asleep? What does that mean? I mean, we think of going to bed and that being sleep, but I don't think that's exactly what you're talking about. Well, yes, I am. Okay. Strangely yeah. enough, <laughs> strangely enough, I am. Uh, I am, I mean that in the sense, um, that it's, It's undifferentiated in terms of state of being. It's undifferentiated from horizontal. Horizontal and vertical sleep are the same. Okay. But how would I know I'm asleep? Oh, well, you have to trust someone who says you are. <laughs> how would I know that they're not asleep? Well, they probably are. But well, they can, can I trust them? Well, they can, in sleep, they can say, hey, you're asleep. Sure. But. And then you, in sleep, respond, why, no, I'm not. Or you no, might, or you might sort of come out of your slumber and say, well, then, yeah, I might be. <laughs> yeah, and just saying, no, I'm not, how does that mean you're anything other than what they say to you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're in denial, it's right. almost for sure. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, EJ, is it safe to say that we act the same in this state right now as we do when we're dreaming? Um, you have more volition under certain circumstances, more or less volition. But uh, apart from that, there's little difference. We, we, we've got more capacity to do harm, presumably. Well, let me put it this way. There are, there are people who can drive down a freeway or down a highway for an hour at 70 miles an hour without a, an automatic uh, car control on and suddenly snap to and realize they've been driving. Have you ever heard of such a thing? Has it yeah, happened to you? Red bar. No, sure. <laughs> well, that's, of times. that's the kind of sleep I mean. Some of it is more obvious and some of it is not so obvious. So are you either asleep or awake? Is it really a binary formula? Or no, because no, because there are, there can certainly be stages and 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 um, uh, you can take it in sections, yeah. But but uh, you don't want to do that because that's that's a way of avoiding the actual confrontation. The best way to handle that is to say, I probably am asleep right now. If I am, what would I do to awaken? If I am asleep, what would I do to see that, to check it, to see, to make, to, 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 to realize that and so forth. So you use it as a tool rather than as a challenge, rather, rather than as a, uh, a, well, a weapon. And what would you do to, to see that? How would you see that if you're asleep? Well, well, you're asleep is not an attack on you personally. No, no. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I got this, this is uh, from um, uh, Kathy Spieth was at Priory. And this is from her interpretation that I'm using this. It's not an accusation. 
it's a helpful hint. And it's a way of understanding what the problem is mm. to say one is asleep. Now, a machinist working at a very complicated job at a lathe can be totally 100% asleep and still do a perfect job. Does it mean he has no attention on the thing? No. Uh, when he's asleep, it's just not his attention that's on it. Isn't that when we say my habits will carry me through? Yeah, what's happening is that his body attention is there and that it's sufficient for him to do the job and get his $37.50 an hour and go home. He doesn't have to be any more awake than perform the task. So his personal presence is not there, but his body is there doing this machining and welding and that and that and so on. Very complicated task. It can be a, a mentally complicated task and still be completely asleep. When you understand that, you begin to understand that sleep is a state, it's a condition. And you go in and out of it constantly. And what's the difference between being in it and out of it? I'm not sure I understand your question. Well, uh, how could I know that I was or am asleep? Yeah, yeah. Uh, good question. So, so obviously there's no answer to that. Therefore, you assume you are. Okay. And then what? Then you work to get yourself out of it. How do I do that? Struggle. <laughs> <laughs> Struggle against what? <laughs> You'll think of something. 90% <laughs> of the job is knowing that it's happening. And you need a constant reminder of it. And the third reminder, you'll start swatting away at it and saying, bullshit, that's not true. Leave me alone. <laughs> so does there come a point where there's, is, is it almost like a weighing scales where you get to a point where you can volitionally much more stay in wake, awakened state when you want to? Yeah. Yeah, you shouldn't be able to flip into the waking state from nothing, you know, from from the zombie. If you find yourself in a zombie, and it's not a big deal. Eventually, once you start learning how to do it, to just put yourself back on on balance, put yourself back on track. Whoops! I fell asleep. Uh, that's no big deal. No, you know, no self recrimination. Don't pound your head with a brick. You just, you know, I fell asleep. I fell asleep. No, 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 you just, I fell asleep. So do make an effort to awaken. Now, making that effort to awaken, that I can't give you a simple answer to. Because mm -hmm. it'll change every time. You, if, you, if, you, if you take my answer for it, then you'll be, always be one answer behind where you need to be. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'd like to know the difference between the ability to pay attention to a complicated task, which would appear to me to bring you into a, a somewhat awakened state, how it's possible to do that, actually be asleep in the way that you are talking about. I mean, I, I kind of I get a sense of it because I see it in some way, but I don't, isn't, I'm not entirely. Well, if, you're, if your attention is applied really powerfully to something, you are at least partly awake and maybe awake. That can do it. 
but that by itself can't do it because you unless you realize that you were in sleep and that you aren't now it won't do you a damn bit of good you need to be in the present with it say ah i'm awake now eventually that happens you and, and of course you'll say well how do i know whether i am or not i mean i'm just guessing that is one of the problems learning this is that at first you are just guessing but eventually you aren't eventually you just know it's just like any psychic thing any kind of psychic ability if you're in telepathic communication you know you are I've yeah, had situations it's where... It's trickier than that. This isn't so obvious. I, yeah. I am or I am not. We already mm-hmm. agreed on that. We got yeah. a million shades of gray. In that's right. yeah, yeah, that's it, it's, it's true. It's a tricky little beast. It is. And, and that's one of the reasons that it's mostly avoided. The whole question is mostly avoided. But, but it's there. I got to go, you guys. I'll see you guys hey, tomorrow. Thank Have you. a great day. Okay. Hey, thanks thank a lot, you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Blessings. <laughs> thank you. Warm-ups and then movement.